All right, today we're going to be introducing the McCormick's Dry Good Kit by the nice folks at the American Model Building Company. Now, if you haven't done one of their kits, you should look into them. They're easy, inexpensive, and they come out with a really nice product when you're done. Most of them are at the, oh, middle beginner level. And here's what it should look like when we're done. We'll see how it comes out. Very simple, easy kits. Here's a look at the parts. The parts are well cut out, lots of detail cut into them. Very simple, pretty hard to mess up on these. And look at the instructions, they're like really simple. Most any modeler can do it. And here's a little bit of a look at the parts, give you an idea how well they're cut out. And here we are all set up and ready to go, let's get going on this. Now generally on these laser cut wood kits I like to use my weathering powder, powders rather than stains and paints. You never get any warping and it gets a nice inconsistent faint, faded look. Now the windows and doors are multi-layer so it comes out with some nice depth to them. They even give you glass and of course they give you a sign. You can put any sign on you want just make sure they're nice and straight because it'll really make it look bad if it isn't. And then of course little bits and pieces like the walkway. Here we are all colored up ready to go let's put it together. As you put it together make sure everything is very square and plumb. There's that little lid, lip at the bottom make sure that everything's in the lip correctly and they give you rolled roofing to put on here. It has its own adhesive on it. Of course this stuff is really sticky so make sure you get it correct the very first time because it's not going to want to come off. And as things are gluing make sure everything stays in place with your handy helpers. Give the glue plenty of time to set up before you move on to the next one. And here was a funny little piece holding one end of the roof assembly. Make sure you get that in. Now I did have to fight with the roof a little bit. I ended up having to take the tabs and sand them down a little bit to make them fit. Don't forget about the trim. Now the trim comes with its own adhesive so it makes it really easy but you want to make sure they're square the first time. And I like to add just a little bit of weathering to all of my kits. I don't want to make them old and worn out like some of my buddies do. I just want them to look used and well cared for. And here you have the final kit, the Dry Goods Building. Came out really nice. I like these guys. I've done a lot of their kits. Now these little buildings can fit almost any place, all over the place in your layout. They have lots of opportunities around. Now if you've never done one of these laser cut kits, especially from the American Model Builder Company, you should try them. Almost every modeler should be able to get these. Well, there you have it. Another fun little piece on my layout. Thanks for joining me, folks. Come back again sometime and have fun with your hobby. See you guys. Bye.